SBT LabTech and 10x Genomics recently announced a partnership to automate 10x single cell workflows on SPT's Firefly Liquid Handler. I spoke to SPT's Chief Commercial Officer Morton Frost and 10x Vice President of Strategic Marketing Brooke Murphy about how they see the partnership widening access to single cell research. Same with preparation has become such a major bottleneck in, in many customer workflows because a lot of uh, the analytics um, index generation sequencing, as, as one example, has become more turnkey. And now a lot of customers are looking at how to optimize uh, sample preparation, downstream data and analytics, and really getting an end-to-end seamless uh, workflow. So I think uh, automation is, is often the key to solving some of those bottlenecks. We're seeing huge expansion, people going from tens to hundreds to thousands of samples. And so as people move toward these high sample numbers, automation provides the consistency and the reproducibility needed to scale their studies with confidence. It helps the customer lower the technical barriers, allowing any lab to access these you know, somewhat complex workflows, but also get high quality results on the other end. And so, as you noted, we're seeing really strong adoption of automation specifically with our biopharma customers Mm -hmm. as they are thinking about whether it be discovery applications like functional or genomic screens or moving into clinical preclinical trials and applications like biomarker discovery validation or they're doing AI model development as an example. These large scale uh, reproducible data sets are absolutely essential. It used to be predominantly throughput driven when you were considering automation solutions. And, and I think with uh, a lot of the precision experiments that the customers are, are doing today, 10x and, and single cell applications being definitely one of them, um, precision and, and reproducibility is as important. So we also see a, a transition within, you know, lower throughput labs are requesting the same automation as, as high throughput. Mm. Uh, historically, uh, there's been a, a significant adoption barrier because a lot of these labs are, are new to automation. It might be the first time they are looking at uh, at the market for uh, robots, and it has historically been a challenging uh, transition from going from manual to automation. And I think we've seen um, with with essentially with Firefly now that we're able to make things easier and the approachability for even labs that haven't done. Uh, work with automation before, it's, it's just becoming way easier. So the whole ease of use argument that we're seeing as a tendency in automation allows customers uh, with limited automation experience to engage in, in, in automating sample preparation. Brooke, when you were looking to partner with a company on automation, what were you looking for? What was, what was a 10X looking for in a partner? Yeah, we're definitely looking for a partner that shares our vision of democratizing single cell. So how do we remove those technical barriers together to give every lab access to these cutting edge um, methods with confidence? And so SBT's Firefly platform definitely stood out in terms of its flexibility, precision, and ease of use, aligning incredibly well with our goals. And in general, if you you know speak to the SBT team, we're very aligned in terms of our vision of really simplifying compliance complexity for for scientists it was a, a an easy partnership from uh, from the beginning especially the the key thing around democratization that's how we view the world as well uh, we mm-hmm. try to build an ecosystem of uh, of industry players and making you know even the most complex um, experiments and uh, and methods easy available for uh, for customers around the world I think the commercialization is ultimately the the proof point of any any partnerships um you know, anyone has done partnership across industry know that it's not until the uh, value proposition, the product portfolio and, and offering is hitting hitting the streets uh, within the field teams. And um, so the engagement at local level is is super critical for this to be a successful um, launch, not only from, from an internal point of view, but also how it's being positioned to, to the customers. And I think we're trying to make it as seamless as possible with uh, integrated commercialization, having teams working together and essentially supporting the customers to take them through the, the journey as well. There's such a diversity in the customer needs, also their comfort level with automation and with the 10X assays ultimately. So we can find a way to meet them where they are, understand what their needs are. And then it's kind of like this trio, right? You have the customer, you have 10X, and you have SBT coming together and figuring out how to stand up that customer as fast as possible. And everyone's got skin in the game and everyone's mm-hmm. looking to get you know robust data at the other end. 
what kind of challenges or considerations are there when you are kind of developing for that range of a user base? If we start with the academic uh, segment, a lot of the challenges and um, concerns around even adopting um, robots and automation uh, is around, you know, the lack of, of, of skills. Uh, they don't have automation engineers on staff. Uh, historic need for being able to code and script in, in Python and other program languages has been one of the, the major bottlenecks and hurdles for, for labs to even consider automation. Um, mm-hmm. but what, so what we, what we did with Firefly was making the, even the user interface, the uh, method development very intuitive. You can essentially take a, a manual protocol and then you can set it up um, within the user interface without having to do any programming, scripting, um, which allows everyone with limited experience of running robots to, to start programming. But what we've done with our partnerships and, and what has been key for the 10X collaboration as well is predefining uh, all the methods, pre-validating them with customers externally, but also with a sign-off from our internal teams and making that available through the uh, the Firefly cloud. What has been accomplished so far in terms of uh, testing workflows, validating workflows? So we're currently in the early access phase and we are working with uh, external sites as well as internal uh, R&D to validate protocols, so the most critical protocols from uh, from both sides and and getting those uh, ready available as pre-validated protocols through the Firefly cloud. Some of the early validation we've done with customers have shown that biological performance and data quality are fully preserved through automation, which is obviously incredibly important to our customers. We presented some data at ASHG um, and they're directly coming from customer labs and it showed really nice high quality reproducibility results. So obviously that external validation really gives us confidence in both the scientific rigor and the practical usability of these methods. What other kind of feedback are you hearing from early users? Most of the early users are most excited about having less hands-on time. So they're able Mm. to do other things and more things and answer other questions while running their single cell workflows. And then when you pair that with the minimized variability, it's really exciting for them. It's kind of a level of standardization um, that automation provides that, you know, gives them confidence in general. Um, but the feedback is incredibly positive. And for the most part, they're then excited to figure out how to scale and what they can do next. So single cell is becoming way more accessible and easier for them to, um, to, take, to take on in their labs.